Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the new Anya switches from Bison. So for those of you who aren't aware, the creator of these switches, Bison, was behind the Yok Holy Panda switches, one of the variants that blew up in popularity a few years ago. And while they have created a variety of switches since then, today I will be looking at their latest release, the Anya switch. The Anya is an extended pole linear switch with a POM top and bottom housing and an LY stem. This is an important choice as the result will be a deep sounding yet smooth switch. POM, as you might know, is somewhat responsible for that thocky sound people enjoy, however the LY stem is what really caught my attention. These days it's pretty easy to throw around the title smooth, and for the most part designers aren't lying, but the Anya switches actually back this up with science. The LY material used in the Anya stems has a surface coefficient of 0.03, the lowest coefficient out of all the major materials used in switch manufacturing. But what exactly does this mean? Well, in simple terms, as you activate a switch, the stem is pressed in, and the rails which help hold it in place rub against the internal housing of the switch, creating friction. These days, switches will often come factory lubed on the stem rails, which helps smooth out that connection. However, different switch materials have different surface coefficients, which determines how smooth the contact between any two materials will be. This is why we don't often see switches made completely out of a single material, as their surface coefficient is generally higher. For instance, a switch made entirely out of POM will have a surface coefficient upwards of 0.32, while a nylon switch can reach 0.6. And while this might not sound like a huge difference, you would physically be able to feel the friction between the stem and the housing of a dry switch, which can cause slippage. Enough about that sciencey stuff however, let's get back to the switch. The Anya has an operating force of 45 grams with a bottom out force of 50 grams. This is incredibly light and not my personal preference, however there's nothing that a spring swap can't fix. The pre-travel on this switch is 2mm with a total travel distance of 3.2mm and if you thought it wasn't smooth enough, they come factory lubed on the spring, stem feet and stem sliders. But how do they actually sound? Now, my personal experience with these has been pretty positive. I definitely noticed the sound of the switch most in the 910, with it sounding noticeably deeper than the Dark Moon linears I had in before. As for the QK60, the case foams really pull the sound profile of the board in a particular direction. However, if anything, this sound is amplified by the nature of the switches. All in all, if you're interested in the themes of the switch, looking for a deeper sounding profile, or just interested in the low surface coefficiency of the stem, I'm sure you'll like it. I haven't noticed any inconsistencies with the factory lube application, and therefore have had no real reason to modify the switches out of the bag. Thanks for Unikeys for sending me the Anya switches to review, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Baby, you me wind away